Hi, welcome back to Cooking with Grandpa. Today we're going to make an Italian chopped meat sauce with no sugar added. I'm going to tell you how to do that later. We made this sauce, we make this sauce because we put it in our lasagna and that is on our first video we made, how to assemble a lasagna. But from that video, I got a lot of comments about it and they wanted to know how I made the sauce for it. So today we're going to show that, make that video now. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about the video, the first video we made. It was because my sister-in-law who had moved out to Arizona and they used to eat our lasagna at Easter time, they said, we'd like to know how you assemble the tray. So I made a video and I, and I was going to send it to them, but I couldn't send it because it was too long. I couldn't email it. And then my grandkids came over and they said, Grandpa, why don't you try YouTube? You can make, upload it to YouTube and send it to her that way. And then they said, well, do you want to make it public or do you want to make it private? And they, and they talked me into making it public. So we sh shot it out there public and it got some hits, a lot of hits. And now people have asked me to show them how to make the sauce. So that's a little bit of history how Grandpa, cooking with Grandpa got started. Okay, let's get started. Okay, now we're going to get started. Now this is a, what I call a chopped meat sauce. I'm going to add a couple of pieces of sausage in it. It's called, in, in Italian they may call it a bolognese sauce. And it's the same thing, but they put a little carrots into it and they might have a little celery. We're not adding carrots and celery. And they add a little milk to it. But it's kind of the same thing. You can use this to make Italian tacos if you want. I've done that for my grandkids already. We're gonna get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna saute a little bit of our sausages. I got about a pound of sausage and I'm using this little trick here. My carp, uh, corn holder. Carb, corn carb holder to prick them. You can use a fork, whatever you want, but I found this little thing pretty good. Okay, we're gonna heat up. Uh, I just coated that pan just a little bit with olive oil. Okay, so we're gonna put our sausage in here. And we're just going to brown them up a little. And then we're going to take them out. We're not going to fully cook them. And I'll get back to you when these are browned. And we'll show you the next procedure. Okay, so we got them kind of browned up a little bit. We're going to just take them out of here. And let them drain a bit. They're gonna get cooked in the sauce, so don't worry about it. I wanna give it a little bit of this oil, grease. But we wanna keep that brown stuff in there. That's what's gonna give us the flavor. And now I'm gonna uh, put my chopped meat in, and I'm gonna brown this chopped meat. A little at a time, I'm gonna do it. You use the same pot. That's good enough. Brown this up. Now, this chopped meat, little stories about this. I don't particularly care for buying chopped meat in the supermarkets anymore. So, I bought this attachment over here and from this Ken home. Ken. Ken Gnome. They sell a tech they made an attachment for the KitchenAid mixer and I ground that up myself and I make my own chopped meat. And I bought a chuck roast and you can't get better than that. And now I have my good chopped meat. You're gonna see there's not a lot of oil, uh, water coming out of this here. Not like when you buy it in a store. They load it up with water. So you got buy three pounds and you got end up with two pounds of meat. We'll get back to you on this now. 
Okay, this is all browned up, and I'm telling you, it's really, I'm really happy with this here uh, grinder that I purchased. It's really worked out fine. And uh, I'm going to put the link on in the description. It's, you can get it from Amazon. I'm going to let this drain well before we start our next procedure. Okay, so we'll get back to you with that in a few minutes. Okay, we're going to start our next procedure. I'm going to put a little fresh olive oil in here. And we're going to place our onion in here. This is about, I, well, in the description you'll have all the uh, ingredients and how much. But with, as with cooking, you can always alter things a little bit more than baking. I start this here, sautéing this onion about five minutes, a good five minutes before I put six minutes before I start the uh, garlic. Because the garlic kind of burns up quick, kind of quick. And I want to get this nice and brown because this is one of the secrets that people, they have to add sugars because they don't, they don't brown the onion enough. Brown that onion, you get all the sweetness from the onion. And we'll get back to you when we in our next entry. Okay, we got this browned up a little bit, about six minutes. Now I'm gonna put in my garlic and brown that up a little bit. Now this is one of the secrets of not adding the sugar. It's making this kind of nice and brown. And that gets all the sweetness from the onion right out. And I'll show you another trick in a few minutes. Let's get this all browned up. Okay, so here you go. This is, we want this nice and brown. Now we're gonna start adding our tomato products. I know everybody has a problem getting the tomato paste out of the paste can. But this is what I do. I open it up on both sides. Here's a little trick. And I push it through like this. Uh, if I had opened that properly, it would come through. Let me take this off. a little bit okay so we got this softened up now we're going to take our can of crushed tomatoes and we're going to add that in here now here's the other little secret I got about 12 ounces of water here I'm going to put this in this can and clean it up with this water okay we added our crushed tomatoes now here's the thing I cleaned out this can with 12 ounces, of about 12 ounces of water. I'm gonna add this to it. Now, this is one of the reasons why people have to add sugar, is because the sauce, they cook it without any water, and it goes down, and it concentrates, and it gets stronger and stronger, and it becomes too acidy. I'm putting this water in here. By the time we cook this meat for an hour in this sauce, if you're making a sauce that's gotta cook about an hour, this water will be gone, and you'll be back to the original tomatoes. So don't worry about it. Now we're gonna bring this up to a boil, and then we'll add our meat to it. Okay, you see our sauces came back up to a boil. And you notice we never cleaned out anything out of the pot because we want all them burnt up flavors to be in the sauce. Now we're gonna add, I, in the meantime, what I did was I cut up about four links of those sausages. And I'm putting this in. And I'm gonna cook this in similar size to the ground chopped meat. And I'm gonna cook that in. And I'm leaving two links, because I don't need them all full. And I'm gonna cook that in there with the chopped meat. And you're gonna cook this for about an hour. And then everything will be cooked up pretty good. Now, 
You could put mushrooms in you want. Some people put mushrooms. Uh, some people put hard boiled eggs into their lasagna. I I used to put mushrooms. But people just like this here chopped meat sauce. Now we're gonna get this up to a boil again and we're gonna just, and I'm putting a little basil in here. Stir that in. And you're gonna let this simmer for a good hour. Cook up that meat. And, and in the interim, every once in a while it'll come, and I'll show you that, I'm gonna kinda of skim it for fat. Okay, we've gone a little over an hour, and our meat is nice and tender. Goes by how much, you know, meat you put in there and how long it takes to cook. I got to say one thing about social media. I saw a documentary the other day, and how bad it is for the children sometimes, and I agree wholeheartedly with that. But I got to thank YouTube for giving me this opportunity to spend time with my grandchildren and show them cooking and, and having a great time together doing this. But now we're gonna take our sauce and we're gonna shut it off and we're gonna bring it over to the sink. I'm gonna put some water in here and I wanna put it in a, a water bath and I'm gonna cool this down. I also skimmed a lot of fat off the top but when it cools down you'll get more and you take that off. I'm going to bring this over to the sink. You want to get this out of the danger zone, 40 to 140, as quick as possible. We're going to cool this down right away. And then we're going to put it in the refrigerator. And I'll show you after we cool it down. I'll put it in a bowl and then I'll tell you what we're going to do with it. Okay, we're all done. I cooled it down. It only took about 20 minutes. As you can see, it's about 118. I put it in this bowl. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. I want to get it down right away quick. And we're going to use this sauce. We're not going to make lasagna with it because we've already done that. We're going to, we're going to make a pizza lasagna. We're going to make a noop, a, a homemade pizza dough. And we're going to use the sauce on top. We'll get back to you when we're going to do that. Probably our next video. We'll see. Okay, we're kind of all done right now. Don't forget, cooking with Grandpa. Subscribe, hit the bell, and also comment. And hit the like sign. See you soon.